Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we're going to be checking out some viewer creations. Now I know I wrote town on the video, we are going to hop over to the town map here in a second and check out some creations. I'm in a flat world because I was sent something that I think I might try to use in the town. I wanted to experiment with it a little bit first. This thing is fantastic, you can see it behind us here. So we're going to go over that. Also, I do have another town build coming tomorrow. I'll probably flash a little video on screen of it. It's going to be really awesome. Uh, put a lot of work into it. Got some cool vehicles coming. It, it's just going to be really good. So if you want to tune in tomorrow for that. But yeah, remember, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic, if you want to hit that thumbs up button, it helps my channel out a whole lot. You guys were amazing on your support on the last episode. And I just it, definitely feeling the love here. It's been really cool the past couple videos of the town. So anyways, today's creation. Now this was made by Sam. This is available on his workshop. I'm going to link it in the description. And what he's got here, and I always said this was impossible. You know, I don't want to do it for the town. It's going to lag too much. Well, he's got a tram system here. And this was actually in parts. Uh, let me go ahead and pull out the lift here. Okay, so if I go down to the bottom here, he's got different parts. Now you've got a couple, this is the station for it. He's got a hover tram too. Uh, I'm not going to actually put one of those together because it doesn't turn. But the tram he's got here, and this is the tram 2v4, it says laggy on it, but surprisingly it's not really that laggy, at least on, not on my computer. And then he's got these tracks, and I put together a little loop, here's the station here, and I, I really wanted to test it out. I was like, okay, we've got a tram, I would love to have something like this in the town. It would be so fantastic to be able to just ride around on a train, or a tram, whatever you want to call it. So I was like, all right, well, how did he accomplish this? And this system isn't bad. This is pretty cool. Now, I know the uh, spider web's a little intimidating, and also the amount of suspension pieces. Those are actually uh, compressing, uh, keeping the carts from running into each other. Actually, I don't think they really run into each other, but it, it gives it a really soft ride. Like, this thing is fantastic when it drives. So what I did... Of course, here's the station. I welded a whole bunch of pieces together. I just made a simple loop just to test it out to see how this thing runs and how it works. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to explain exactly how this is working. You can see the wheels. It's running on those, and then it's got this track here in the middle, and it's got these pipe pieces that I don't even think they spin. I think they just guide on the track, and this is probably one of the best ways to make a train in Scrap Mechanic because this actually isn't too laggy. Uh, any other way I thought of it, I was like, okay, how would we do this? And this came into mind, but I still thought it was going to be too laggy for the town, but obviously it isn't. Now, what you're seeing over there, uh, that's the less laggy version. It doesn't have the suspension pieces, but like I said, this one doesn't lag too bad as is. So we're going to use the uh, the fancy version. I think he's a, the uh, version that looks a little bit better. So we're going to use that. Uh, that's the hover tram. I was just testing it out. It's also a beast. But like I said, I didn't put one of those together because it cannot take turns. Now this one can take turns. Now anytime you see turns on these trains, it it's kind of slow. Uh, this one actually kind of stops and then starts to take the turn. It's like it's got to just line back up. But yeah, one cool thing about this train, I'm going to go ahead and give you a view of the inside. It's got tons of seats. Uh, these suspension pieces, that looks crazy actually. Yeah, you've got all these. You can walk in. Now this train does drive by itself. You do not have to be in the cockpit to drive it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here. I think this switch closes our doors. Actually, that one started it up too. It's got a lot of switches here. You've got the, uh, this is the door here for the operator. He can stand up here. You've got a radio. Uh, you've got a horn. Yeah, I think there's, these are horns too. Or something. That one's a really low pitched horn. And then you've got that one. These are like, I guess your warning horns. Now, all these buttons do something. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of crazy, like, you can see the spider web. I don't really know uh, what they do. I know one of these, this is like a, somewhat of a rolling. Uh, you've got some thrusters here. These pin it down, I believe. And then this third button here, I don't know what that's doing. It's doing something, and then we're going to hit this button. I probably should have closed the doors. Actually, they were closed. Never mind. So, yeah, we're moving. Now, we do not have to be here at the front. We can just close this door here. And it's driving. You can see it. We're moving. And it's not lagging too bad at all. I'm still getting about 90-something frames right now. It looks like my counter says 95. Uh, I'm really amazed by what this thing is doing. 
Uh, I know I've seen quite a few trains uh, created. Uh, Khan recently uh, created a really cool train and that actually hovered. Well, his track hovered and the train uh, drove on top of it. I think this is somewhat of a similar uh, thing or design. I don't know. I have to go back and watch his video on it. But yeah, this is cool. Like we're passing by the station right now. And it's smooth. Uh, like I said, it does slow down. We can watch the uh, turn here. It's going to kind of slow down right here at the turn, and it, sometimes it'll even stop. It's just got to line itself back up, and that's the biggest challenge to these things. Anytime you have something on tracks, like I've been asked to make like roller coasters, trains, and all that, and this was like the one thing I was like, I don't know what we're going to do here. But this is fantastic, so I'm going to take this thing apart, look at it, Probably going to run a, an experiment in the town and see if I can make one. Now, one bad thing, uh, I don't have any elevation changes. And, oh, we probably should have stopped at the, uh, probably should have stopped at the station there, but oh, we'll just hop off here. Now, I don't have any ramps or anything, so I won't be able to make this thing go up a, a hill or anything. So it's going to have to be flat like this, but I can elevate it high enough that way we will dodge all the terrain. And I could make a simple loop around the town, so it's not a guarantee. But this is definitely a start. Let me go ahead and take this off right here. Oh, it's freaking out. He hit the logic. Uh, something's happening. There it goes. But yeah, uh, I think I might try this in the town. Like I said, no guarantees. Uh, but I do want to thank Sam for sending this over. I'll link his workshop in the description. You can actually download all of this and put together a little train set yourself. But yeah, we're going to check that out. I'll see, I'll experiment around with it, and you might see a tram system very soon in the town. I'm actually really excited for this, so definitely thanks to him for sending that over. But anyways, we're going to go back into the actual town map and check out some of the new vehicles, and I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of tomorrow's build. All right, there's a glimpse of tomorrow's episode. I've got a couple more things that I've got to do with it. I've got to do a couple structure things, and I've got to do a couple things with some vehicles that will be in tomorrow's update. So we'll check that out. Now, you guys have been really digging the whole supercar, fast cars, fancy cars, whatever you want to call them, uh, thing. So I've got a couple here. Actually, the third one's more like a, uh, a purpose-built off-road vehicle. Now, two of these vehicles do use mods, the uh, Dubsta or the Mercedes. And then this, I don't even want to try to pronounce the name. I'll flash it up on screen when we check it out. It's a Russian kind of like all all terrain vehicle, I believe. So we'll check that out. And this is a Bugatti. Now, this is one of the most requested vehicles ever since we started doing supercars. This was by Fino Work. Uh, he's been sending over vehicles. He's been commenting. He's like, check out this one or check out this one. And I didn't realize he had such a supercar collection on his workshop. So yeah, this is the Bugatti. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check this out. It's built, I think, very similar to the way he builds his other ones. Uh, you've got the seat down, kind of, I don't want, I guess you could say glitched into the floorboard. It's got a really nice shape for vanilla parts. Let me show you what it looks like when it's on the lift. You can see the front end's all opened up, but when you drop it, the controllers, they'll snap it into place. Ah, oh, that really was a snap. And is that a gas suspension again? Yeah, you can see it, it rested down after we uh, spawned it in here. We did a really good job with the uh, headlights here. I like the, uh, everything's on bearings and twisted a certain way. That is cool. Uh, of course, the wheels are kind of cambered in. Let's see. We got the back end here. Now, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the same result. It's probably gonna be bouncy on the uh, concrete here. Now, oh, <laughs> that is a, uh, that's a curb. Whoa, this thing has a lot of power to it. That's a, uh, that's a lot. This thing might actually do good on the drag strip. Now, that drag strip, I know there's probably going to be some concern that it's going to end up like this, bouncy-wise. Uh, I have done some things to the strip to correct that, and I think they actually worked out. Uh, we'll have to see tomorrow. But I'm going to dump this on the uh, ground here. It's best to do this on the, uh, I guess, on off-road area. I mean, that's kind of weird, but it works. As you can see, yeah, these creations are so low to the ground that the uh, suspension kind of gives a little bit, and I'm thinking it's somewhat bottoming out, and that's what's causing some of this bounciness, but it actually does really good on off-road terrain, which is, like I said, it's a little weird for, you know, supercars. Uh, you figured, yeah, we need to go on the streets, but this thing actually is really great. Turns very nice. It's got a little bit of a drift to it, but uh, it's definitely very controllable it's not one of those vehicles where it wants to spin out every five seconds so 
definitely props to him. Uh, he's got a really cool interior here. I think a lot of these interiors on these uh, Bugattis have like a uh, almost like a leather trim to it. I think that's what he's going with here. So that's uh, fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to drive this back around to the other area. Like I said, if you want to download any of these creations, his are all in his workshop. Uh, these are cool. I wish I would have known this one uh, existed before I did the uh, supercar dealership last episode because this would have looked sweet inside of it. Uh, some people were kind of mad that I used the uh, Ford Mustang GT, uh, but I, I was kind of looking for some vehicles. I want a little bit of variety in there since I had two Lambos, and I really wish I known that this existed because this thing is really, really awesome. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and delete that. It's a Creates a little bit of lag, kind of like the other ones. There's just a lot of bearings, a lot of stuff's going on there. Okay, the next vehicle. This is a Dubsta. It's by Fun Boy for the Win. We've covered him once, I believe. He had like a yacht he sent us a couple months ago. Uh, this does use mods. It's modeled after a Mercedes Benz G63, or he calls it the GTA 5 Dubsta 6x6. Uh, it's really cool. It's got a nice setup to it. The uh, suspension is really unique, actually. Uh, from first glance, it looks pretty uh, standard, but you go under here, he's got the off-road piece linked up to the body, then he's got a lower piece here, and it's supported by the, uh, I think this is called the street or the stock suspension, and he's got this little linkage uh, with the uh, pipe pieces. That's uh, really cool, so there's quite a few suspension pieces on here. It's not too laggy. Uh, it's got a really cool looking outside. He's got the, uh, I guess it's fun boy or for the win, something fun for the win or something like that, I don't know. Uh, he's got the uh, lights back here. These all work. These are, like I said, mod parts. I love these handles. Like, please, scrap mechanic, get these handles. These will be so much better to use in vanilla. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually look at this interior. This is nice. Uh, what about the back seat here? Oh, yeah, this looks like a nice, like, I guess a leather interior. He's using those uh, special blocks that you can just set on. Uh, it's He's built these custom seats and you've got these blocks like one right there, probably one over there. Uh, actually, no, we can highlight. Whoa, okay, that's a that's a lot there. That's a little more than I expected. But yeah, you can see all that moving. Oh, he's actually got where the uh, steering wheel can move. Let's look at the interior from here. Uh, the one thing about this uh, little block seat, it does sit a little low. I don't know what it is about it, so you can hardly see over the dash, but other than that, it's a... Uh, Fantastic, so let's go ahead. What's the buttons? One keys, a roof hatch, two keys, roof hatch, assuming three's my door. Uh, the rest of them are gonna be the other doors. What else do we have here? Okay, so that's door, door, tailgate, and horn. That is a, that's a mighty horn there. Okay, so let's close everything up and let's test her out. Uh, actually, tailgate, which one's tailgate? Come on, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and drive her around. I'm, I'm pretty sure this thing handles amazing because of the amount of suspension pieces. Uh, I would be a little concerned with how tall it is, and it does look like it's made completely out of metal. So, eh. You know what? Actually, no. I don't feel any tipping. I, I'm actually trying to turn really hard. Let me go ahead and take it. Oh, might have high-centered it. Come on. There we go. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, let's see if we can get it to tip over. I always love trying to test vehicles that people send me and... Oh yeah, no, that one's good. That suspension works really good. You know, I created a 6x6 a long time ago, and it was, oh, it was a long time ago. I want to say it was probably at least six months ago. I really kind of want to revisit that. I've been sent a couple of these, and every time I see a new one, I'm like, man, I'd love to create one of these again. So we might see that coming up soon in the town. Maybe I'll create one of those uh, for an episode, but uh, this is good. This is really good. Nice, got a really smooth ride to it. Hasn't tipped on me yet. I'm probably gonna jinx that here in a second. Oh, don't wanna get too close to that drag strip because still saving that for tomorrow. I've got some more things I wanna add to it. But yeah, I wanna definitely thank uh, Fun Boy for the win for sending that. Uh, he's got a workshop and I believe he has a YouTube channel. I'll link them both in the description. Let's uh, go ahead and take this up the hill here. Still debating what I'm gonna do up here. Uh, you guys have been giving me some fantastic suggestions for the top of this hill and Actually, kind of all around this hill. So, still debating on what I want to do there. Uh, it's a really prime location. It's got a great view. So, uh, we'll see what we're going to do here on top of the town. Uh, I love that view. You can see the go-kart track, the neighborhood. By the way, we're, we are going to correct that sign and move it somewhere else. But, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, last creation. 
All right, we all know the most wonderful time of the year is coming up. Christmas is almost here. It is going to snow in the town. The reason it's not snowing right now is because tomorrow's episode would not make sense at all in the snow. So we'll be bringing some snow to the town. Now, this is by Scrubmaster. This is, and I don't even want to try to pronounce this because I'm going to say it wrong. Uh, let me go down to the bottom of the list here. It is a... Um, an Ab Toros? It's a Russian vehicle meant to be used in the snow. It's an all-wheel drive. Seats for three. Very fun to drive around mountains. It's not a speed demon or anything. It's morely meant to climb terrain, so we'll probably take it back to that mountain. It's got a really good-looking outside. I can see the lights that would uh, turn on here. You've got eight wheels. Suspension, pretty simple. Looks like it turns off, yeah, all wheels here. It's got a back. Does this... Oh, yeah, that opens. Looks like you can climb in. It's got a storage area back here. It's got a couple of those uh, controllers that look like computers. Those are really neat. Uh, it says X trim on the side of it. Let's see. Yeah, it's a cool design. Let's go ahead and hop in and test it out. It said seats three. There's one there. Uh, he's probably got uh, those blocks like we that like we're in the uh, the Mercedes over there. So that's where the other people sit, I guess. So let's go ahead and hit the one key. Two keys, back door, three key is roof hatch. Ah, four key, look at that. That's awesome with the lights. That's another part that Scrap Mechanic needs to add, vanilla-wise. I would love to see some working lights. I'd like to see working light sources. Uh, you kind of just don't get that effect in Scrap Mechanic right now. And Let's see how this thing climbs. Like I said, it's not a speed demon. It's not meant for that. It's meant to have that torque. It's meant to be able to get up things. So, we're going to do a little bit of testing. We're going to go up the same hill that we took the Mercedes up. This is nice. I love the design. I actually want to see a picture of one of these in real life. Uh, might have to look that up because I was talking to him a little bit yesterday. Uh, he came in. He's a, he's a logic person. We'll call him that. Uh, kind of like Mr. Non-Newtonian. They're really good at logic. And they helped uh, rig up the uh, drag strip. That's a fully functioning drag strip. So, when I was talking to him, he uh, talked about this vehicle a little bit, and, oh, this is, this is good. This gets up. Let's go ahead and go a little bit steeper here. There we go. But yeah, he talked about this a little bit, and I figured, you know, this would be nice to uh, use here. Uh, of course, I probably should have turned the snow on, but kind of saving that for a little closer to Christmas. Uh, let's try, let's try a little bit of downhill here. See how she hangs on. It seems to grip the terrain really good. Yeah, let's see. Let's try to edge down. I'm probably going to flip it here, but I want to test this. This is like, this is probably a very unfair test, but let's see. Man, it really does hug the terrain. That is cool. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, I might tip it here. Let's see if we can get those. Those front wheels are going to need to grip here. Uh, let's see if we can try to get them to catch. There we go. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Oh, oh, we might flip it now. <laughs> okay, that last part wasn't fair. That last part was just a, a complete fall. But yeah, that's a that's a really nifty vehicle. That works extremely well. I like that a lot. Now, that is going to be fun in the snow, even though the snow doesn't really affect the game. It's just going to look a little bit better than uh, trying to drive it around here in the sunshine. But anyways, guys, if you have any creations you want to send me, I'll flash my email up on screen. I'm accepting all sorts of creations. We are moving on to a military base very soon. I've been getting quite a few military creations. Uh, it's going to be after the drag strip. Tomorrow will be the drag strip episode with probably a small teaser as to where the military base is going to be. So hopefully you join us for that. But anyways, guys, thanks for all the support on the Scrap Mechanic series. It's been fantastic. Like I said, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.